Hi guys, welcome to another exciting video. In this episode, we're talking about how you can optimize your LinkedIn profile now to land data science interviews. As an aspiring data scientist or someone trying to break in the field of tech and data science, I believe there are two ways you can showcase your skills and expertise to potential employers. But the first one is through your resume. A lot of my previous videos, I talk about the resume that um, got me interviews with top data science companies such as Facebook, Capital One, Microsoft, and many others. And the second way, you can um, showcase your skills through LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn provides a platform to connect with other professionals in your field. And also, the, almost all data science or tech jobs are posted on LinkedIn. I believe LinkedIn is the best platform, the best place to apply to data science or tech um, jobs. And also, you have so many recruiters on LinkedIn scouting for the best candidates. So it's important to put your LinkedIn profile in a good um, shape. So in this video, I have Senna with me. Senna is currently a software engineer at Oracle. He got his um, his position, his job through LinkedIn. Uh, so he's going to show us how he optimized his LinkedIn profile to land interviews. Before we get into it, my name is Prosper, and I transitioned from a non-CS background to data science. I recently interned as Captain as a data scientist. If you're interested in the field of tech or data science, you're now getting started. This is the best place to be. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the content, and share this video with others as well. Now, let's get into it. Yeah, thank you very much for uh, inviting me again um, to your channel. I'm really excited to share because I, I believe LinkedIn really works. There was a time when I was a doubter. I didn't believe in LinkedIn. And then after my positive experience with LinkedIn and getting a job through LinkedIn, I'm a strong advocate and believer for LinkedIn. And it's one of the most important things you need to get in order if you want to get a job or an internship in tech. So I'm going to show my LinkedIn profile today. I'm going to go through three main things. First thing is I'm going to go through how to set up your profile. Next thing is I'm going to show some typical posts that I make to kind of like uh, keep my profile at the top of the LinkedIn algorithm so that they show it to people in the same space. And that can show my account to recruiters and then I can get a job. And then the final thing is how to search for recruiters on LinkedIn and how to reach out to recruiters on LinkedIn. Okay, so I'm just going to share my screen right here and we can get straight into it. Okay, so here's my screen. Prosper, do you, do you see the screen? Yes, I see your screen. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, so um, it's always going to start, your LinkedIn profile is going to start with the header. It's always good to put something, you know, techy as your, you know, uh, header. Yeah, it shows people that, you know, it kind of signals to people that you are in the field. Yeah. Sure, yeah. And then, yeah. And then you should have like a headshot, a good headshot. I would even say my current headshot, I wouldn't say it's, it's, it's that great. It's good, but it's not like awesome. Yeah. So the best thing to do is if you can like get a professional picture, dress in a formal attire or semi formal business casual. And then get like a really good headshot. Those are the first two things because when recruiters are looking for people, the first thing they see is your headshot. And everyone knows there are a lot of fake accounts and stuff on LinkedIn. So if your headshot looks like you know weird or like doesn't look that great, they might not even contact you, even if you have all the skills. So then the next thing is, of course, your name and then your headline. A lot of people in their headline just put something just straightforward. They are like students at Texas Tech or students at Delaware. I feel like that's not enough. You want to put something that's going to catch the recruiter's eye. You want to put something that tells them about who you are. Everyone knows you're a student. If they go to your profile, they are going to see that you're a student. But you want to tell them something extra about you. So here's mine, which is like, I'm a computer scientist and I'm avid problem solver. That's really key. Tell them I'm, I'm someone who likes to you know, solve problems. And I just put this quote over here, understanding the problem is the first step to the solution. And that kind of you know adds some humanity to my profile. So then the next thing and the important thing is the about. The about can be a little bit challenging. You don't want it to be too long. And you also don't want it to be like just a one sentence thing. So here I talk about, you know, my current stage. So I am an MS computer science and geophysics student at Texas Tech. And then the key thing is your interests. 
right? Because recruiters are looking at your interest. Does your interest align with the role, you know? So I put over here, I'm interested in developing ethical AI and ML and blockchain applications. And I'm currently developing an ML-based network intrusion detection system for cloud environment. So you need to put your the project that you are most that you feel like most stands out for you. You get it? You need to put that in there about. Tell them what you are doing. You know, what are you doing currently? That's like really good. And then you can just be like, feel free to contact me with any opportunities or questions. Yeah, I mean, so and, to, mm -hmm. like, I've seen a couple yeah. of, a lot of guys, like, they, I mean, a lot of people put, like, they write a lot about, uh, in that section, that's their pitch. But I feel yeah. like it's always be simple, like, speak to the point, like, how Senna pointed his out, like, his interest, what he's currently doing, and all that. It should always be yeah. to the point. Straight to the point, yeah. Recruiters don't have a lot of time to look at at uh, candidates, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I heard the statistics. I, I don't want to misquote, but it's like something crazy. Like a recruiter is going to look at the candidates for like, I don't know, 30 seconds or they're going to spend like 30 seconds or like less than one minute on a candidate. So if you have like an essay over there, of course, the recruiter is not going to have the time to go through it all. So you need to be like short and sweet, straight to the point. Yeah. Now, the next part is the featured part, which is very, very key. It's very, very important. Yeah. So in my featured page, I have this certificate. So I did, um, it's not really a boot camp. It's more of an NGO where they offer like online courses. So I have a certificate from this online course that I did, which is an Android development course. And that's really good. Yeah, because it shows that, you know, aside from just my school, I'm also doing some extracurricular learning, right? And then the next thing is my projects, which is very, very important. It's very important. You always should put a link to your GitHub in this featured space. Because when the recruiter comes to your LinkedIn page, they can immediately click your projects, view, it's going to take them to your GitHub, and immediately they can start seeing your projects immediately yeah so it's always great to put that link to your project in here and then i finally have this link to a project that i did in my internship not everyone might have an internship so this is not definitely it's not something that you must have but if you do have an internship definitely put your a link to your final internship project on the feature and that's like you know going to show the recruiter that you know it's going to show them the hands-on experience that you have. Now, the next thing is experience. So prior to my software engineering experience, obviously, I was a research assistant because I was a master's student. So I have it over here. And then I very, very simply talk about like the different things that I did and the skills that I used in that role. And then graduate research and teaching assistants, very similar uh, format where I talk about the things that I did in that role, the things that I achieved. Obviously, you should always try and use the star method where possible. So, you know, I developed and taught labs for this two over 20 students, kind of using the star method. And then you should also have the skills that you used in that role. Um, if you have any internships, that would be great to put there too. Okay, so, I mean, in case you are yeah, new to like the star method, so it simply mm -hmm. means like the situation when you are describing your projects, talk about the situation you are in, the task at hand, the approach and the results. Very simple, like, yeah. Yeah, and you can see that clearly in this one. So I designed a credit card fraud detection machine learning model. So that's, you know, the situation and the task. And then the, the, and it also has the action, which is to design. And then it has the results, which is, to a 97 accuracy and you know so you should always have the metrics and the statistics you know but the results you should talk about the situation the task the ask action and the results yeah and then after that education that's pretty straightforward you put in you know your education and then license licenses and certification this can be very very key too and very important it's like an icing on the top of a kick. So if you've taken any online courses, Udacity, Udemy, LinkedIn Learning, 
you know, any certification, make sure you put it here. And you should also link it in. That's something that people don't, people forget to do sometimes. So link it in so that when they click it, they can see the certificate. Very, very key. Yeah. And then volunteering, if you do any volunteer work, it shows that you are a well-rounded candidate. You are not just having your book, your head in the book all the time. You also have like, you know, a social side to you. And then the skill side. The skill side is very, very important. Very, I can't overemphasize the importance of the skill side. If you have, if you know how to code in Python, make sure you put Python over here and do the LinkedIn skill assessment. It really makes you stand out because it shows that, yeah, you've been verified by LinkedIn that this skill is a skill that you actually have. If, you know, you've worked with um, intrusion detection, make sure you put that there. If you work with machine learning, put that there. Also try and get, you know, the LinkedIn badge. If you've done some C programming, put that there. Make sure you put the LinkedIn badge and so on and so forth. It's 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 really gonna you know make you stand out from the rest of the candidates, and then you can also put you know some of your courses that you've done over here, and then in the publication section, if you have publications, of course it's not compulsory because it's, it's uh, not everyone has publications, but if you do have publications, make sure you link that in, and then finally, I think this is the most important section: your projects. You should make sure that every software development project that you've worked on should be in this section. Because a lot of the times the recruiters, they see your profile, they are going to read this, they are going to read about, they are going to immediately scroll, maybe check the feature, maybe they'll check it a little bit, but maybe they might not even have time. They will just be looking for your projects. You get it? They are very, very, projects are like very, very key. They will just go straight to your projects. And when they will get to your projects, you should have the links to all your projects so that you can easily click it and then see your projects. And in GitHub, which we'll talk about later, you need to have a readme which simplifies the project and also demonstrates the project. So you should have all your projects in your LinkedIn. And then finally, honors and awards, languages, all of these are extra stuff that you should add. So overall, the most important things that I would say you should make sure that you have in your LinkedIn to stand out from other candidates is you should have your projects, you should have them LinkedIn, you should have your skills, and you should take the LinkedIn skill assessments and get the badges because that helps you also stand out. Definitely have a volunteering side, show that you have. You also do work outside of just the technical field. And then Definitely the about and the featured. Make sure that it's like easy to go to. So that's basically about like, you know, setting up your LinkedIn profile in a way that you can be successful. Yeah. Um wow, that's yeah, a pretty solid like LinkedIn profile. That was very educative, um, and informative. One thing I'll add is um if you are looking for a job, then you you should turn on the open to work um feature. Yeah. Uh, that's something Senna forgot to point out. Open yeah. In fact, let me let me demonstrate it right now because I already have a job. So I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. So if you are looking for a job, you this button over here. Make sure you click it. You go to finding a new job and you set it up so that it shows that you are open to work. That's going to put you at the top of like the list for recruiters. Yeah. And also, like I do get a lot of like questions because I have the pre I have the premium account for LinkedIn and people. Uh, reach out to me and ask like if that's really necessary for you to get recruiters reaching out to you. I don't think so. Um, no. that I, I remember last year when I was applying uh, for my internships, even without a premium account, I, I had a lot of uh, recruiters reaching out to me. So it's not a must that you have uh, uh, a premium account. Just putting your 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 profile in a good shape will keep you stand out amongst a pool of uh, applicants or candidates. Yeah. Hi guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and it was very educative and informative. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and share this video with others as well. And um, I will see you in the next one.